Hi everyone, welcome back to Kelsang's World. So today is going to be my first Q&A session. Uh, so grab your snack, your coffee, sit back, relax and enjoy this video. I also have my filming partner with me, Mr. Johnny Bear. So let's get into the video. So before filming this, I had asked you guys to send me questions through my Instagram as well as my YouTube channel. And I have few of the questions here. I have jotted down all the questions in my notes uh, that I received from YouTube channel as well as my Instagram. And these are the questions that I've received. I've made notes. So let's get started. The main purpose of this video that I'm making is, you know, I wanted to connect more with my YouTube family and I wanted to share a little more about myself to them so that we could, you know, connect at another level. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So before getting on with the questions, I would like to introduce myself for all my new viewers. Hi, my name is Kelsang and I am from India. Yes, you heard that right. I am from India. So now let's start with the questions. First question is the most awaited question, I would say. That's where are you from? I get asked this question a lot of times here also where I'm studying. And that is, are you Indian? If I, if I tell them I am from India, they are like, oh my God, you don't look like you are an Indian, you know, so just to clear your confusion. Yes, I am from India and my parents are from India. So, you know, they have this question like, oh, is your mom or your dad Korean or Chinese or you have some relatives like that. You know? I would like to tell them also that my parents are also from India and my hometown is this very, very beautiful hill station, Queen of Hills, Darjeeling. It's in West Bengal. And it's really, really famous for tea. If you Google it up, you will find lots of information about it. It was also called the Summer Palace, you know, by the Britishers because they used to go during the summers to chill with their family and relax. So I hope you get Darjeeling in your next travel bucket list. The next question that we have is where did you do your schooling from? So I was born and brought up in Darjeeling, like I said. So I completed my schooling from Loreto Convent Darjeeling, my second home. Um, literally, when I talk about school, I feel so nostalgic because that was my favorite place apart from my home. I used to be there from six in the morning, like seven in the morning for basketball practice till six in the evening. And I cherish each and every moment that I spent with my friends, my teachers, my basketball team, hearts for my dream team. And like, you know, the dance, the performance, the activities, the ups and downs, everything. I feel my school molded me into the person I am today. So I'm really, really grateful and blessed to have, uh, you know, studied in Loretto Convent. The next question is, do you have any siblings? The answer is yes, I do have a sister. She is four years younger to me. Uh, if you guys have seen my previous uh, vlogs and videos, you must have seen her. She's, but she's very, very tall. So, you know, when people uh, meet us for the first time, they like, you know, address her as the elder one and me as the younger one. So it's quite an advantage for me as well, I think. But I really, really love my sister and she's very, very funny. So shout out to you, Karma. And also, if you guys want to see, you know, Karma and me together in the video, we are going to be filming a lot of dance videos. So please stay tuned because during summers, I'll be going back home and Karma and I will be shooting a lot of videos. So the next one is, what do you do for work or study? Uh, I am a medical student currently studying in Tashkent Medical Academy. I'm, a, I'm in my third year. And for work, I do not work as such, but I love filming videos for YouTube and it was like my dream to build my own channel. So I can consider that as work. Now the next question. Okay, this one's a little spicy, uh, at least for me. Um, do you have a boyfriend? So what do you guys think? Drum roll. So the answer is no, I do not have a boyfriend and I never had a boyfriend. So it wasn't like I wasn't approached or something, but I wasn't uh, interested in that field, I would say, because I wanted to focus in when I was in school, I wanted to focus in my career, my activities, friends, family, enjoy shopping and all those stuff. So yeah and now i really believe that you know uh, whenever the time is right god is gonna make it happen so i have faith in god 
the next question that we have is about my favorite type of cuisine so that would be uh, Indian because I love Indian cuisine especially North Indian I love my favorite like go to Indian North Indian food would be um, garlic butter garlic butter naan and butter chicken because it's like very very tasty and it's like chef kiss for me but other than that I love like you know nothing can beat my mom's home cooked food especially churpi chuakar my Sikkimese people will know that and uh, Kewa Thatsi and Emma Thatsi. If you guys haven't tried Kewa Thatsi, Emma Thatsi, you must try it. I, I'm sure you guys will love it. It's a very special Bhutanese dish. And the seventh question that's, are you more of a morning person or a night uh, owl? So the answer for this is uh, both because I think that, uh, you know, if my mom sees this, she would be like, you know, oh, she's a night owl. But that's not the case. I think I can adapt really well to both the situations. You know, so the answer would be both. So the next question we have is, what's something unique or interesting about you that not many people know? So that's the main purpose of this video. The first thing I would say is that I am a trained Kathak dancer, if I can say that, because I have given most of the exams that I have that I had to, uh, like Adya, Madhya, Purna, first year, second year, third year, first year folk. So those are all the exams that I gave for like dance. And my mom chose Kathak because she thought that it's like a bass, like you know, in music if you learn guitar, uh, if you learn piano, sorry. You can play all the other instruments. It's the same for dance, like I feel. If you know Kathak, then you can pretty well, you know, do all the other forms of dancing, I believe. So that's there. The second one I would say is, and this one I think only the people who are very, very close to me know about, uh, know this about me. And that is that I do mimicry really well i mimic people really well that's what i've been told by my friends and my family and um, like people who meet me for the first time they can't imagine me being very funny or making people laugh but if you uh, if you guys ask my friends and my family and people who are close to me they will tell you that you know kelly is very funny to be around and like karma i think i think that karma is uh like the funniest person for me but karma thinks like you know she tells me sometimes that Ayla, Ayla's sister so she tells me that Ayla I don't think most of the people know this about you but you are really really funny you keep on making me laugh so I think that's a secret that I shared with you guys today the next question we have is uh, what are your passions or hobbies so I have many hobbies you know i used to play like first one is dance obviously because i have been dancing i don't know my mom says that uh, after i was born i would not sleep until and unless uh, my mom would like literally rock me on the chair you know playing some music so my mom says that i have this connection with music and dance since the time i was born and so the first one is done the second uh, hobby or a passion is i love to play basketball and through this game i have made some amazing friends sisters seniors you can say and it's it's very therapeutic you know to play basketball with your loved ones so i really enjoy playing basketball and yeah i think that's about it and i also like you know i'm falling in love with you know medicine and uh, treating people and talking to new people every day knowing their problems trying to you know solve it so that is also turning into like my passions like very strongly it is growing into a passion moving on to the next question uh, we have oh my god I lost the question where was I um, okay uh, what does a typical day look like for you so let me break this down for you guys so i wake up in the morning depending on my class timings so as soon as i wake up obviously i check my phone uh, but then i try to keep it aside and then i pray i you know uh, submit my day to god and then i ask him for his guidance throughout the day that's the very important thing to do i recommend you guys also to do that because i feel like it really helps um, throughout the day you know that knowing that he has everything planned out for you guys so that's very um, helpful for me to be honest 
and after that i make my breakfast because i live with my friends uh, two of my friends if you guys know bhargav and iram you've seen them in my previous video for the ramen challenge i will give the link of the video here so yeah we make breakfast and then we get ready we go for our class sometimes we have one class sometimes two depending upon the duration if it's a practical or a theory class after that we go to our um, library and we also have a beautiful um, canteen if you guys want a tour of my college let me know in the comment section i will make a tour for you guys after that we come home sometimes you know we need to go out for groceries it depends on like what is the to do list for the day so we come back home and then we make tea we hang around for some time and then we go into our rooms because we are students of course we need to do our work prepare for the next day after we've had some self times for ourselves we again decide to you know what to cook for the lunch or dinner most of the time we don't have dinner but you know it's like lunch come dinner types so we do that and then we always it's like mandatory for us to watch a film i think we've completed almost all the thriller genre film in netflix and now we've moved on to uh, we had moved on to prime video and we've completed from that platform as well and now we've shifted to uh, i think one two three movies you get a variety of movies there as well so uh, uh yeah comment down in the section comment section as well uh, what you know movie recommendations if any you have we mostly watch adventure thriller thriller related adventures so yeah that's there and yeah after that we do our studying whatever we want to do if i have editing i have filming to do i do that and then i sleep around you know it depends like 2:30 sometimes 1 sometimes early sometimes late so yeah that's how my day looks like okay that was a pretty long answer i guess i'm so sorry guys if i'm like if you guys are bored but please stay with me till the end of this video okay. the next question is what's something that makes you smile so obviously it, uh, the answer is going to be my family firstly because um like whenever i'm stressed out you know with studies editing youtube whatever i just call them and they just make me you know smile and i just forget about all my problems and um second i would say like i said like knowing that god has already planned your day he has planned everything for you and he is like 10 steps ahead of you it helps me a lot because i was uh, an overthinker you know i used to overthink about everything like if you ask my mom and especially karma my sister uh, she will tell you that i was uh, this you know deadly overthinker but now i am so happy that i don't get stressed about things and i don't have like you know tension and stress about things because i feel like what will i do uh, like stressing about it you know like for example i have less time and next day i have some exam or a viva i feel like you know what will happen by stressing because like there is this um verse that says like you can stress if like you know by stressing you can increase your height you know can you by doing that no right so it's just an extra you know um burden for yourself just know that god has already planned like the next day also and the day after that also for you and whatever he has planned is going to happen for you and that's the best for you that can happen you know sometimes you might not like what's happening sometimes you might not understand why that particular thing is happening with you guys but i feel like you know it happens for a reason and you will understand that once you come to know and you once you have that maturity i feel like i have become a better version of myself uh, with that particular with that one line that god has your back and he has already planned everything for you so you do not have to worry so whoever is there who needs to hear this today do not worry god has your back he's planned everything out for you he's 10 steps ahead of you so don't worry girl just stay focused and just have faith and trust and third i would say all the people who are close with me like my loved ones my friends um you know who you are right you are watching this video right now and even for you, even like you guys you know um having you guys as my subscriber i'm really really grateful and grateful to share my life with you so that also makes me really happy seeing the 
love that I get. It makes me smile. So yeah. Um, the next question I have is, what's your favorite book, movie, and TV show? So three questions in one. So my favorite book uh, is going to be by Daniel Steele. It's um, called The Turning Point, and it was very much relatable to me because it was about medical. Uh, professionals who had to deal with you know they had to balance their professional and their personal life and seeing how uh, medicine changed their lives and the story that she had built and the connection of different characters it wasn't like you know a one protagonist kind of a story it had many protagonists so uh, I felt really relatable and I loved that book so if you guys want to read it's The Turning Point by Daniel Steele so now my favorite movie um if it's going to be like a bollywood movie i would say hum aapke hai kaun um it's like a classic family movie like a big you know huge joint family and ha or so many songs and dance in the movie so that's i think like my comfort movie you know whenever i'm down i can watch i've watched it i think over 50 times i think already and also another secret is that i was you know when i was small i was a huge madhuri dikshit fan because i used to love her dancing her expression and everything else so that's there and uh, for hollywood movies i would um, say i i don't have a particular like favorite movie as such but i love hallmark productions and hallmark movies like the christmas movies they have and all the family related movies i love watching like basically uh, all hallmark movies i love watching them and the third one is tv show so tv show also like indian tv show i my favorite one uh, even karma i think that's also a favorite one it's uh, behad it used to come in i think colors or star tv i think ah uh, sony tv okay iram is prompting me that it was from uh, sony tv uh and uh, karma also used to love watching that with me it was a very different kind of story so behad and i also um love watching k dramas um and my family too like karma has got my parents also hooked into like k dramas so that's another story to tell but my favorite would be um goblin uh king limino's uh king and um, my love from another star as well as legend of the blue sea um yeah that's that's it moving on to the next question um which is your like favorite place you've traveled to so i think that would be uh one would be bangkok uh when we were like in class 5 our parents like they took us to bangkok i think that was one of the most like lovely places with beaches and all and current favorite uh, would be uh, vietnam i recently was in vietnam with my friends and we were there for some other purpose you know related to studies and universities as well but like the time we had there and the friends that we made shout out to you tran if you're watching this we miss you a lot and also jessica we will meet someday again I hope so and yeah like they were amazing people and we met trans family also so we had a lot of great time together and the place also like not only the people the place was also very very good like the weather was pleasant and everything was very you know nice about Vietnam so I really enjoyed going there our 15th question and that is if you could have any superpower what would it be and why Okay so I had to think a lot about this one because I had to give a proper reason. So I have come up with um this superpower um more like a gift you know for me and that would be healing the gift of healing because uh I believe like it connects well with the profession that I've chosen as well and I just don't want to be a doctor who comes and treats and you know treats away a disease or just treat the patient like a disease you know i want to connect with them on a personal level and be able to heal them and uh, like make them whole you know and happy again as a person so i feel that super uh, having this superpower and this gift of healing would be really really great and i hope so i have it one day the next question is what's a skill you'd love to learn 
So this is very interesting because I make this bucket list every year of the things that I want to learn, something that's new. Like for last year I had, uh, for 2023 I had how to learn to drive and also um, to learn swimming properly. I knew swimming but I want to learn it properly, you know, like in proper depth, like 10 feet, 15, like that. So I did both of those things and I'm really, really happy. So this year, for this year, I have made sure that I hope that I can, you know, start learning ice skating because there are a lot of ice skating rings here. The second one is I always, you know, wanted to learn how to play drums. So that's there. Third one is I want to learn... Um, horse riding so i hope these three are you know checked off by the end of this year i think that you guys also can you know try and make these sorts of uh, bucket list because it will give you guys uh, something to look forward to or you know like a goal for the entire year and you can you know keep it at the back of your head that you want to do certain things and when you check it off by the end of the year you feel like like you've achieved something so you can do that so the next question is what's your favorite comfort food uh, it's very easy i love having my sunny side up eggs with roti and i also love having my broccoli just saute it with olive oil garlic and just a pinch of salt and it's good to go Moving on to the next question we have, what's your go-to way to de-stress? Um, so whenever like, you know, I am stressed or like I had a lot of things to do or like I had a viva or a test, like I like to uh, I, uh, give myself some, you know, rewards after, accom uh, after accomplishing certain things. Like say for example, I did, uh, I, I had my viva and it went really well. So I just treat myself with shopping and I know it's like my guilty pleasure as well but it gives me you know happiness so I just go out with my friends. Moving on forward with the next question is what's the last uh, TV show you binge watched? So uh, I would say that I'm currently watching uh, this uh, K-drama it's in Netflix it's called Dr. Slump and I'm still watching because the episodes are you know uh, uploaded uh, twice in a week so I'm waiting for that every Saturday and Sunday I get to watch it moving on to the next question which is the 19th one what do you enjoy doing in your free time so I love going to like new cafes and trying out their new desserts coffees and my friends and I we love doing this like cafe hopping we call it every week we go to new cafes and like you know in the area or different areas of the city and try out their new desserts coffees and give us little review kind of a thing so if you guys want to watch those kind of vlogs also please uh, comment down in the comment section moving on to the next one what's your favorite season so my favorite season is autumn because I feel like it's like the perfect blend of you know uh, like starting winter plus like the summer feel and the vibe is still there you know that's what I love about autumn and fashion wise also I can style it up very well during that season I feel moving on to the next one is favorite makeup products and brands so I think that I've told this in my previous video that's a makeup challenge with my sister Karma that I love 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 mascara I have been applying mascara since I think I was in class 8 because you know I was continuously dancing uh, like in different different shows so I had to put on makeup so I loved from that that's when I got this habit of you know applying mascara and since then it's never left me and I love it because it just makes your eyes like you know wide awake you don't need anything you don't need lipstick you don't need eyeshadow you don't need liner nothing but just a mascara and you're good to go so that's like my favorite and i think the brand would be i love um l'oreal's uh, lash paradise mascara and i also like uh, benefit cosmetics as a makeup brand and what else um like there is not a particular brand you know that i like specially but i like different products of different different brands like benefits i love the bronzer the hula bronzer 
then like mascara i said l'oreal uh, lash paradise and i also have been uh, loving the eyeshadow palette from romand which is a k beauty brand and the products are pretty good you know from this brand as well because the lip tints are pretty famous so you guys can check that out so moving on to the next question is what's your go to starbucks drink so my go to starbucks like my favorite go to starbucks drink is the green tea cream frappuccino with oat milk and i also like during the seasons like you know summer season i love to go for a uh, strawberry acai lemonade with strawberries and during the christmas winter time i love to go for white mocha with cinnamon powder so that those are my favorites um moving on to the 23rd question which is do you have any goals or aspirations for the future so answer is yes everyone i think everyone should have goals and aspirations you know to keep them moving forward um as for you know my career i have many things planned and i will let you guys know as things proceed um for my youtube channel i want to grow my youtube family right now and i want to connect with more people and i want to make a uh, quality content videos so that i like give back something to the community as well so these were the questions that were most asked about you know that i you know clubbed it into different sections now i have like some other questions that are like extra like for example how do um, how to do an address change procedure in tashkent uzbekistan so for that you need to contact your uh, company through whom you uh, through whom you have taken admission and they will help you out with your uh, with the procedure so usually what happens is you need to go with your owner you don't have to go uh, usually your owner goes with you know uh, one of the officials from your university and uh, register in the police station and get the cadastar which is your residential registration so you can go and contact your company the next one is from one of my friend in school um she has asked how has life changed over the years so this is like it seems like a short question but it's very very the answer is very long because like from the time we graduated from school uh there were so many things that had happened that that has happened like one like major things as well like you know the ukraine war uh, so many things uh, learned from that you know experience and like life every year life is changing and i think every year you become a better version of yourself you believe in yourself more and trust and have faith in god more and more that's what i'm loving currently that's what i'm loving the most about my life right now because i'm learning more like how to build trust and how to build faith and uh, learn different things and you know just to love life the next one that i have is it's getting pretty hot guys because i'm shooting this in my room and the heaters are on so the temperature outside is in minus but inside you feel really really hot because of the heaters anyways moving on with the next question uh skin care products recommendations so to be really honest with you guys i want to like keep this conversation this q and a conversation really really transparent and honest and like i do not have a skin care routine um i don't follow i have tried like in the past you know to follow all that serums and the toners and everything else but it doesn't work for me to be honest and it's okay i just want to say like those who've tried out and it doesn't work don't think like you know you have to have this particular items in your skin care routine it's not like that it's your wish you can just go for uh, obviously there are basic things that you should go for like a sunscreen moisturizer and a face wash and that's what i use you know i have my face wash um the product that i use is from derma vibe then i have my moisturizer moisturizer i keep on changing depending on the place like where i am i also use the nutri derm the nutri derm and the derma vibe combination it's said to be like you know it was viral uh last two years i think it was very very viral so you can try that out and sunscreen that i'm currently using is from dermaco 
so these are the things that i use and it's very simple and basic so it's fine if things like you know toners and serums and vitamin c and retinol and all these things doesn't work for you it's okay okay guys so the next question please stay with me for a few minutes more and then i'm i trust me it's over uh, i have few questions left like um, the next one is how do you come up with your idea uh, come up with ideas for your content do you have a creative process or strategy so the answer for this would be um i love watching other youtubers other channels and i try to you know not copy but take things from their videos like learn like how are they doing and what's the like you know trend in youtube currently and because youtube is like a search engine right so you need to get into their algorithms and in their search engine so that your video is boosted you know so i try and do that but i also try and be very real and do what i love because i can't force myself to do something that i don't want to right so i hope that's making sense uh because i don't want to make a video of something that i am not passionate about and i can't speak about like for example take this video i wanted to make this video to connect with you guys right so while shooting also i am not like tired and i i come up with creative ideas automatically because that's what i want to do but say for example i shoot a video and i'm not interested in that so that video will turn up into something but it won't be something like good you know the quality won't be that up to that level mm, that's why there is no such you know creative process or strategy i feel like if you love what you are creating you can like automatically you will have creative thoughts and ideas about that particular video so i would suggest to go with something that you love creating and that's what i do personally as well um the second last question is <sighs> I'm also really tired guys and I think you are too so how do you manage social and pers uh, professional life as you are a med student as well as a vlogger so it's all about balance guys and I'm I don't want to say this and sound like you know oh she has it everything together but that's not the case you know I have uh times when i break down but that is when your friends your family you know pull you up together and give you that boost of energy and tell you like no you can do this you are you know capable of doing more and they help you out and some days like you know every day you can't be productive some days you might be feeling low so just it's it's just okay you just accept it the next day you might be feeling super productive right so i feel like i also try to manage uh, my professional life not professional i would say but my medical student life right now and my vlogging i'm trying to balance it and you know trying to find that equation between the two like i said in my last video that if you love doing what you're doing you know then half of the battle is already won because you don't have to take it that thing as a burden or a responsibility you know because you love doing it so i love vlogging and i also love um being a medical student so i try to balance both and some days you know um i will miss vlogging and i will miss editing because i need to concentrate on my studies and some days i just like you know put a full stop to my studies for some time and then get back to vlogging so that's how life is it's just about balance So now we've come to the end of this Q&A and the last question and um this subscriber has asked me uh, first of all it starts with saying hi Kelsang anything to say about not uploading a video on every Sunday so if you guys have seen my first um video that's beginning of a new journey in that video I told that I would be uploading my videos every Sunday but obviously due to many reasons like you know there were many things in between i went to vietnam and many things happened so now my uploading i was really inconsistent as well with my videos so i'm really really sorry for that but now i will give my best and you know try to be consistent with youtube as well so a new timing uh, i will be giving you guys i will be uploading my videos every tuesday at 5 pm ist so please look forward to that and i'll be uploading one video every week so don't forget to give uh, your love and your blessings for all my videos 
So I think that I have covered most of the questions that you guys have asked me. So we are finally done with all the questions for this first Q&A session with me. Let me know in the comment section that like, you know, if you guys want more of this kind of videos, like a sit and talk with me or any topic that you want to discuss, uh, leave it in the comment section and I will get to that. So for this video, please don't forget to give a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share it with your loved ones. And uh, thank you so much for all the love and support. I'm very grateful to have you guys as my subscribers. Bye, toodles.